Hello there, and welcome to our 2022 family spring break trip. In a matter of four days, you find ourselves in South Llanos River State Park and Davis Mountain State Park. Before we go over all the views, all the fish that were caught, well, the one fish we caught, treasures that were found, and our overall stay, let's go over some of the prep work. Welcome to Road to Manhood. My name is John Moses. We're about to get ready to go on a four day camping trip. No, this one is not going to be a crazy overlanding endeavor, um, but we have some of those coming soon. We live in San Antonio, Texas, so we don't have quick access to public land and public trails. Everything's privately owned here, um, but we are working on it. Me and my buddies are looking for trails. My families have RVs, so we're going to uh, jump onto their RV sites and go create, uh, create some memories with our overlanding gear. They're going to be in their RVs. We're going to be in our truck. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and what we need to prepare for the trip. Um, and also just show you guys what we explored and uh, just create some good memories. Let's go check it out. Because we are staying in an RV park with the family, we really don't need all this equipment that I end up packing up. But you never know what can happen out there, so I end up taking it all. Quick tip, RV parks make great campsites between point A and point B for those longer trips to a more primitive site. Definitely take advantage of their resources and save on yours. We got the main gear on, we got their tent, we got the water port, the canopy, um, and the roof, uh, the top tent for the dogs. Now it's time to make sure we get our checklist ready to go, make sure we have our food ready. We don't have to worry about routes this time because it's just several trips and it's all kind of road, so nothing crazy. We got our list, we know exactly what we need to get to the grocery store. It's important for us because whenever we grill or cook, I have a couple different grills I like to use out there, so this list will let me know exactly what gear I need to take out there. Uh, but we're prepared, ready to go. We, once again, this is gonna be a super simple trip, but I over prepare all the time to make sure everything is gold. All right, this is the also coveted Plano box. This is super important for every trip because this carries everything from our kitchen utensils, um, all of our supplies, everything that we need is gonna be all in here. Spot check, throw it in the truck, get going. We are all set. We're about to go on a little adventure. You guys ready? Yes. All right. You ready? Pips. Like like, let's go. All right. We have reached our destination, South Leno. Here we're at. Parked up. Now it's time to set up. Oh God. Damn. Well, after uh, Jenny's hilarious attempt to open this tent, <laughs> we were all set and ready to explore. From unique wildlife and many trail options, we were off to a great start. This way, okay, I'll leave it. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, night number one. So far, so good. South Manos is actually pretty cool. RV site so it's not like we're trailing but there's a couple of cool things that we're excited about it was pretty nice we have a whole day here tomorrow we're gonna go fishing on that jazz it's cold as hell outside but we got a little heater because in RV sites we have electricity so we gotta totally get a jackery <laughs> so we're gonna play a couple games drink a little bit more call it a night wake up early and go do some activities I'm always winning <laughs> The next morning was filled with mother nature, expanded our head noodles with the good old knowledge of our feathered friends, and I even got to sneak in some off-roading. Shh, don't tell anybody. We were literally spoiled this time around as my family pretty much had a home on wheels and had everything. Out of all the equipment and gear that I brought besides a tent, this is literally the only thing I ended up using and it was to make a soup. My son and I ended up sneaking off for a second time around and he caught himself a little bass. Memory locked. Day three and after a delicious cup of coffee, we head out to Davis Mountain. 
The route to Davis Mountain ended up being really nice. The views were stunning and upon arrival we set our eyes straight to the sites before even settling in. This Indian lodge stood out with its unique architecture and the route up the mountain for the scenic view was absolutely spectacular. You ready for this? What? What? Always a great time getting double teamed by your fiance and your son in a family game of Uno. <laughs> Cheaters! Good morning. All right, we hear geocaching. Ethan found the first one. No. Ooh. I got it. All righty, guys, it's official. I need to get me one of these. Last day, and after adding yet another grill to my culinary arsenal, we see our goodbyes head out, took a wrong turn, and accidentally ran into this wow of a gem. MTV Clearance, welcome to my house. <laughs> the history of Fort Davis was so rich and humbling. We even got to see a reenactment of the once primitive weaponry they used back in the day. Jeez, those things took forever to load, and so unreliable. Kudos to those brave souls back in the day. All right, guys, taking off. Did you have a good time, baby? You have a good time, Lucky Remy? Lucky is exhausted. <laughs> He's beat. He's beat. What about you, buddy boy? Fun. All right. We're heading out. It was a blast. Heading home. Bye.